Howdy folks and welcome to this let's play of Stellaris, which we are playing as the plantoid species, the Ganavius Empire. Um, my name is Nidius and of course at the end of last session we had basically finalized a war, concluded a war with our neighbors, the Uri, or the Uri, whatever you want to call them. Um, that war wasn't instigated by myself, it was actually instigated by one of my neighbors, or one of my friends I should probably say here, um, which actually has led to them having to release some additional space to other species. So let's see where those additional species are. Galactic Yuri, in the, uh, Galactic Yuri Directorate, independent. They've got a migration treaty, so I cannot offer them a protectorate status or anything of that sort. There's lots of ships that have to actually retreat out of enemy territory or formerly enemy territory to basically rejoin me. Some planets were seeded to me as well, which basically at the moment means I've got one too many planets. Just need to figure out which planet that is. That's probably this planet here. So let me take us to that planet here briefly. So if I just add that to that sector here, the Nav, Nav Olimba sector. And I should, in theory, be able to construct here some additional mining. In actual fact, I can't, unfortunately, which is a bit of a pity. It's a shared uh, system I'm sharing with some of my neighbors here. Which at the moment means I can, unfortunately, not put anything in that system in terms of other structures. But I should either way still be able to build a wormhole station here, which is exactly what I'll be doing now, building a wormhole station there. These guys here are one of my vessels, which is good. So at the moment we should be in a state where there are 10. So we've actually seen that there has been someone released from their influence or their power. Is it these guys here? No, these are already my vassals. Is it these guys here? No. So which guys have they released from their hold? I'm not sure. I am most definitely not sure about this now. I cannot really see any particular... Uh, actually, invite to alliance. Demand vassalage. No, I could, of course, invite them to an alliance. This will increase their trust of us by one each month. It will cost us one influence. Oh yeah, okay, let's get them in. Okay, these guys here. Galactic Euro Directorate. Okay, Independence Guarantee, which is fine. Right, let's get all of our ships back together at this point. Actually, they're still moving, aren't they? Yeah, these are still moving. This fleet here is ready. That one needs some repairs. That one's fine. I can, of course, reinforce some of these fleets here with some of those newer ships. Which is probably exactly what is required here. And again, I will be expanding my battle fleet here in terms of battleships to be able to uh, meet up with the enemies in the future. All right, this system is still relatively new in terms of the uh, base on there. Battleship assembly yard. Engineering bay. Observatory. And what else is the final one going to be? Synchronized defenses. Right, perfect. Kicking up the clock speed again.
almost home, I would say. Yep, perfect. So let's mer start merging these individual fleets here into one larger fleet. Hope that helps manage them and make life a little bit easier here for us. Which of these is the new one? This could all be the new one. Alright, that should do. In terms of science ships, again, we have got projects ongoing that we could actually initiate over there. And where else is there anything to do? So looking at the potential travel sphere that you see here, big circles, of course, because we've got big potential where we could travel through. That system has not been surveyed yet, just because at the moment there are still some species in here, or some of those aliens, some of these red ones. Okay. So sending one of my fleets there to actually uh, exercise a little bit of control over there. I will place this fleet here in orbit of a Saiban. This fleet here I will place in orbit around one of my other system stars here. To be precise, let's actually do that on the southern front here. Where, where do I really expect the next war to basically come into being? That's probably the key question to consider there. I've got really no immediate war plans myself, so yeah, it's down to planning. It's all planning, planning, planning. All right. I've got wormhole stations in all these frontline systems here, which should make my travel significantly easier. Construction complete. All right, where is our technology? <clears throat> okay, let's Hostile scan it. Engaged. Perfect. Should be completing the uh, Doctrine Armada battle formation shortly. Situation log updated. Research complete. This system here, I can build some mining stations, I can build some research stations, so let's get that done. So what else could I do here? Let's try to find the other bits of our territory here. I think for the moment being, we are in a pretty decent condition. Debris analyzed. Hostile fleet engaged. Finished our research like I said we would. <clears throat> I'm gonna increase my leader capacity here, I think. Really Situation useful one to have. Updated. And what I will do, I'll basically go through each of my planets, make sure that on the planets themselves, on the surfaces, there is nothing extra I could build. Right, let's build some extra bits there in orbit, extra ships. We of course need to rebuild part of my fleet, which we unfortunately did lose in the last engagement. <clears throat> I'm quite happy with what we're seeing here. The only thing is, of course, 12 food. Hostile fleet I engaged. don't need 12 food, necessarily. So 12 food is the surplus. So I probably want to replace this one by something entirely different. Situation log updated. Okay, I need additional resources for that, which is fine. I will eventually get that. <clears throat> There's a fair amount of debris still that's floating around. Okay. 
anything else here there is additional bits there that we could potentially research I don't see anything else in any of my own systems here No, I think we're pretty okay for the moment being. Just a final check of all those peripheral systems. Again, they all look to be okay. Again, one of my governors has died, unfortunately. And I would assume that is one of the other sector governors, or actually maybe one of the planetary governors. This one here, I would say. Get ourselves a new governor. Okay. I'm going to reinforce that fleet there. And we lost a scientist here, unfortunately the ship here it looks like uh, let's get an extra one in there leader lifespan potentially useful the ship here Debris is idle analyzed. Anything else I could actually analyze properly over here? It doesn't look like it, does it? So let's get into orbit of some of my systems and start assisting the research. So we will be finishing some of our technology, other technology, basically one in physics and engineering in about 10 and 11 months respectively. What's our leader status at the moment? 18 out of 18, which is good. Construction complete. Let's reinforce these fleets here as well. So each of these individual fleets got their own admiral, as you can see, which luckily helps in terms of keeping all the costs down. Now, our current leader is Petals of Aquamarine. He's got an age of 111. Deeply connect, deep connections, and as well as being charismatic, which is good. So my sectors were missing some of the, the resources required. In terms of where we are spending money on at the moment we've still got a few frontier outposts let's try to find all of those so the frontier outposts are demarcated by means of that little symbol there so if we go to the system here that's got an outpost but it's not one of my own so that's fine little circle of stars here this one for example this one's got an outpost if I get rid of the outpost, what's the effect of that? <clears throat> I'll probably push back these borders here slightly, as you can see. Nothing major, but uh, yeah, it does mean we're losing some of those systems over there, which is not a big problem. I'm not too concerned about that, but uh, yeah, it's just something to bear in mind. You probably see the same effect occurring over here. <clears throat> the only thing is over here we got significantly more systems complete. surrounding it, so I'm not inclined to do anything with that. Where else do we have one? There's only really three that I can see for myself. Alright, our mineral output is increasing. Let's go for this one here. Additional Research mineral storage. <clears throat> and as well being able to choose a new one here. Planetary sensor range increase. 
ion disruptors. I think the ion disruptor might be an interesting one to go for. Alright, let's kick up that clock speed again. And let's see what happens during this particular session here. Okay, the Fifi Sandy have been declared rivals. <coughs> Some of those newly made available ships, I'm going to basically assign to the fourth Cor Corolla to bring it on par in terms of strength with the other fleets that we have at the moment. <clears throat> Let's bring this fleet into orbit here as well. <clears throat> Of course, I should now be able to, of course, build an additional wormhole generator here. Got one there already, got one there. That's in my neighbor's territory, and that same goes for that one. Alright, clock, clock speed at the highest level. Democrat Vivisandi Republic has declared war upon the Vivisandi Consolidated States. Okay, so let's have a brief look at where these guys are. Is that just... Oh, that's that sphere just to the north. So let's to the south, which basically I believe I liberated. So it should, in theory, be the same species, but probably with different agendas. <clears throat> so if you look at these two, Construction this one's got complete. the extra purple stuff there. This one's got, oh, is it amber stuff? I guess amber stuff, yeah. <clears throat> Let's look at these surfaces once again. I did talk earlier about being able to uh, put something extra in place here. This will do something about the ethical divergence. <clears throat> I don't want to do that. I want to basically put in place a other type of structure. <clears throat> well, let's do the symbol anyways. It's not going to kill him. Right. <clears throat> Still got naval capacity to spare, which is good. Which could, of course, mean that I should really invest more in fleets. So that might be an interesting way to go. So I'm going to basically assign additional battleship constructions here. I'm probably going to assign them to a brand new fleet, which I don't have yet. <clears throat> okay. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> we are part of a federation here, aren't we? Who turned it into federation? I didn't, did I? Hmm, I might have done. <clears throat> Don't remember. I actually haven't done so, but okay. Anyways, that means that these guys here on the southeast are part of my do you want to call it alliance victory conditions we still have nine other species to either subjugate or to fully obliterate <clears throat> and there's still the two fallen empires over here which i haven't touched at all
Do I really want to touch them? I'm not sure I do. I'm not sure I do. All right. I think, given a clock, we will be calling it a day in about five minutes, or no, less than five minutes, make it two minutes from now. Construction complete. So this base is now able to build ships for us as well. So I'm going to be building battleships here, particularly since we have got a battleship assembly yard here. That should make that relatively quick. <clears throat> reduce this, the actual build speed, but it also actually build, uh, reduce the costs by 10%. And our scientist has gained a level, which is great. Top one there. At the moment, we all got scientists here who've got research speed boosts. Always welcome. Time. So let's actually start merging these two already into one. <clears throat> this is fifth, fifth Corolla. That's an appropriate name, I would say. Construction complete. Construction complete. Merge these as well. <clears throat> uh, there's another one. That's the one I was talking about. Let's get rid of that one. I didn't see it for some reason, but <clears throat> yeah, it should have enough stars and so forth with colonies around it to actually retain control fully of that one. And indeed it does, <clears throat> which is good. Which of course now means we basically get a gain in terms of influence again instead of a loss. Alright, let's merge these as well. <clears throat> in reality, again, I could probably move this one towards more a uh, frontline position here. Let's find a system with a decent planet in there. like this system here. <clears throat> Moving that fleet into orbit there. And like I said earlier, we're going to call it a day. Thanks again for watching this, and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.